Hey everybody, this is Jeremy Whitman with Androidnosis, and today we're going to take a look at Action Launcher Pro, a launcher replacement for Android phones and tablets. Let's begin. So, just a couple of unique features about this uh, particular launcher. One of them is uh, instead of having a regular app tray, this is your app tray now, and you have an alphabetical list. I don't know if you can see it here, you got uh, ones that start with numbers, the top, like 9 gig, and then you could find like a Pandora by pressing P. Okay, and that just hides away like that. And you also got a persistent search bar here. Tech Sarah Huey, hey baby, I love you. And this way you can do quick actions, and then also you have something called covers. Now, what covers are, they're basically folders, but you just have one icon here representing that folder. Okay? So you press on the icon, and it acts like the application would. This opens right up into it. So, in most of these applications, you'd want to make your, your, um, your cover uh, app. So the way you'd make a cover, you just have this standard folder. And you go in settings and you go make cover. And then when you get out of it, there it is. And we're just gonna make it a folder again. I press setting button. Now another unique thing that they just added to this um, is called shutters. Now if any application has a widget, you'll be able to use the shutter feature, which is a so yes. then the widget on your screen you just have the icon and you'd be able to see the quick information that a widget would provide. Oops. And so on. So that's pretty cool. Now let's hop into the settings and see what all of your options are. Because obviously no one's going to want to set up the same way. So let's go to settings down here. It's the last option. And first off, we got display. So you could choose how many home screens you want. You go from anywhere from one to five. Now, obviously, the purpose of this application is to um, have as few home screens as is necessary to still do all the same things that you're able to do before having the regular stock. Uh, Android launcher. Now you can choose which uh, home screen you want to be your default. I have mine set to one. Um, you can choose your grid dimensions. You go anywhere from three to five, three by three, three by four, you get the drift. But I just have the default four by four. You could choose to show text labels or not choose them. You can enable and disable the dock. You can choose your dock width and you go up to six. I have mine set to the standard of four. You choose to have the dock separator and not to have it. And choose to show the page indicator or not to show it. You can make the action bar visible, which means um, instead of it being like see through like you saw before, it just be like, I'll show you right now. It'll be black. If it's visible, it'll be black, just like this has. And the quick draw options, you could either have it holo dark or you could have it like where it just matches the wallpaper. And that's the way I have it set up right now. And you could choose your screen margins. Um, I just have mine set on the default, but you could ch certainly change that. Play with it for whatever appearance that you want to go for. <clears throat> You could choose to have hidden apps, which would be in your quick drawer. So you could choose to show all of them, or none of them, and everything in between. You could choose to um, open up a cover by either vertical swiping or double tapping, or both. Here. Set your double tap time. You could choose what you want to show 
in the action bar whether you want it to be just the regular quick search just google search and google now or google voice search only so i got it set for both that's the quick search um, you could choose to either have the toggle bar this being persistent so that little bar will always be on your screen and you check it off to toggle it which means you just press the empty space in your home screen it pops up and you press it again and it goes away notifications you can swipe down from anywhere to open the whole purpose of this particular launcher is to save you time you could also import um, your settings from your previous launcher and they'll do that or you can start from blank and one more thing labs so you could choose to actually turn off that shutters experience which I don't see why you'd want to do that but I guess some people would and you could also choose to have the launcher in landscape mode which I do not have set up but I do have shutter set up so you want to probably keep that checked off because that's a really cool feature so that's it I mean this this launcher is pretty cool some of the things I did with it um, you can make like a, f a cover folder here, which I did, and I was able to import the quick call widgets for all my contacts. That saves me a lot of time also. So overall, I really like this launcher. It isn't too feature rich like some launchers are, but for just quickly doing things, you just want to do things, go, this is the perfect launcher for you. So that's it. So if you like my videos, please like and subscribe.